Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Major Canadian, here with Jerome and Bigums. Where the heck did you bring us? Well, buddy, I don't know. I saw a floating plane and I was like, that doesn't look like it should be in Minecraft. So, here we are. Wait a second. <laughs> it's, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a filthy sticking baka over there. <laughs> and a toy plane. Anyways, we are here today at the start of something that's going to be super awesome because this is potentially going to be a, a bit of a series for both of us um, where we're going to come back to this and complete different challenges that Stampy Longheads or Stampy Longnose, depending on how you know him, actually assigns us. So Stampy is uh, going to be sort of instructing and directing us throughout this series and these challenges. So Jerome, how does this work? So pretty much, we go and we press the airplane button here, and it'll teleport us over to this area. As we head to that toy shop, the way it works is, it gives us a book that tells us every single badge there is, and it actually separates us into different teams. Now, me and Mitch aren't going to do the entire thing one straight shot. We're going to take it one badge at a time, or two badges at a time per episode, and we're going to try and race each other to see who can do each individual one faster, and make a fun little competition out of it. That's right, and you gotta catch them all, the badges. That's right, and it gets a little weirder too, because if you look real quick before we break the presents here, this is the map we're going to be playing on, and we're in that windowsill. So the badges are going to be things like, uh, I mean, for instance, the one we're doing today, and the first one is find Exc Excalibur. So you have to look at this image and try and find the knights somewhere on it, and then from there you have to go and, and find Excalibur. It's really cool, actually, how it's played out. Yeah, so Jerome, you break that present, I'm going to break the red and green one, and scoop that up, drink up the bottle, and let's go ahead and listen to oh, Stampy wait. giving us the instructions. Oh, you already hopping right in. Yeah, boy. All right, here we go. Hello and welcome to the toy shop, created by pop artist Peter Blake. Although the doors, windows, and toys you see are real, this is not a real toy shop, as you will see as you look out the window. <sighs> I love toys. Do you love toys? Why not have a good nose around and discover more about Peter Blake and his very special toy shop? I'm sure I had some old records lying around here somewhere that explained all about it. Maybe you can find them all as you go exploring. If you find all 12, you can have a very special disc jockey badge. Why not see if you can get all the achievement badges as well? Have fun! Alright, so right. that was sweet. Thanks for the instruction, Stampy. So basically what he just told us is we gotta collect all the music discs and all of the badges. So, big ups. Yeah, buddy. Well, Mitch, if you don't mind, mind if I look at the book real quick and read off what the first badge that we have to do exactly is? Yeah, I'm down for it. Let us know. All right, here we go. It's called Badge 1 Excalibur. So we have to find and climb the packet of toy knights to find the sword in the stone. Use the binoculars or Tate's website to find the knights. So Tate's website is just a real world picture of this, but you can, you can clearly use this to see what we're looking for. Yeah, so we're going to analyze the uh, the window behind us, but before we do that, before we even jump into getting this, Jerome, would you like to take a ride with me? Of course I would. Head over to the secret base, buddy. Yeah, boy. Let's go to where we collect our toys. And Well, uh, apparently I don't deserve a minecart, so I'll just chase you. Long. Have fun. Good luck getting up to me. <laughs> I will win. Oh, Aha, Mitch. Go. I ran through the forest. Take that. Uh -uh. Get back here. Nope. You'll never you catch going? me. You'll never catch me. Mitch, please. Please, please. Dude, stop. Welcome to the toy shop. I made it. I'm going to exit my cart. And Jerome, from here, we get to do something pretty cool. We go to our each of our team zones. Wait, wait, wait Mitch. Mitch, you, 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 you missed the fun part. What, what was the fun part? Uh, mini Superman, mini Green Lantern, mini Flash. Looks oh, so cute. That's true. All these mini superheroes. Mini Wonder Woman. Like, that's awesome. Where's the mini Baka? <laughs> Coming soon, Mitch. All right, so I'm gonna take my music disc drum and go ahead and throw it in the jukebox. And now we knocked one of the records out. Peter Blake is a British artist who was very important in the pop art movement in the 1950s and 60s. Okay, well that's pretty interesting. Well, I'm gonna go downstairs, Mitch. I'll meet you down there. Now yep. we know our team areas. It looks like you're green and I'm red team. Yep, that sounds about right to me. I can press tab, and yes, I'm definitely green, and you're definitely red, my good sir. All right, well, before we go looking for the actual action figures, Mitch, we should show off the cool little tools we have to do it. So first, we have our binoculars. So we yep. can zoom in, see around a little bit more. And we also have grappling hooks. And the way this works is you shoot it up in the air like that. Sure, I'm going up top. And it'll teleport you in five seconds. Yeah, you should go anywhere you want. You go up there. Boom. It takes five seconds. It's kind of like an ender pearl fishing rod. It's actually really cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. So Mitch, let's find where those toy knights are so we can get Excalibur. All right, sounds good to me, Bigums. And this is a little bit of a friendly competition, Jerome, so I'm gonna spot them first. 
Oh, we'll see about that, everybody. And if you're enjoying this at any point in time, please, everybody, leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more of these. We're going to try and finish this map out to the end. That's right. So, Bigums, Guide to the Badges. Let's see. Any other hints, or is it really just find and climb the packet of toy knights? That's it. Oh, what are boy. the knights? Is that, are, those battle, are those battle robots in the bottom right-hand corner? Where? Bottle the right. Bottom. Oh, battle uh -huh. robots. I Maybe. don't know. I have no idea. That's definitely like oi, a oi, palette. Oi, 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 oi. I think I found him. I think I found him, Mitch. I think... Look, look at the bottom middle frame. Yeah. And then go to the top of the bottom middle frame. I think that's definitely knights fighting. The the, we, the the stones with the red and blue? Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing. I mean, if that's the best you could probably do in Minecraft, that's definitely... Oh, jeez. Oh, I see you, Jerome. You're the red You're the red sparkle on the other side. I'm the green sparkle. So you can oh. see where your opponent is the whole time. Well, that's it. This green sparkle is <laughs> going in big. All right. So even if, even if I didn't tell you, I knew you could just follow me. All right, I see the potential area up there, Mitch. The race is beginning. Yes, it is. I'm taking a different route. You can't stop me! Oh, that was a bad toss. Come on, fishing pole. Grappling hook, don't let me down. Oh, I just nailed a super hook on that one. There we go. I started to fishing rod glitch, not even enter pearl glitch. Fishing rod glitch into a wall and took damage. Oh, nice one. That's a, that's a new one, for sure. For sharks. For sharks? Well, I'm coming up quick. I'm right behind you. I'm hot on your tail. Nuh uh. Ouch. Goodbye. You can't. Oh, come on. You can't punch. <laughs> God dang it. Was that in the rule books? My god. Okay, I'm coming up. Right. Can I even oh, shoot that up higher? There. Yes, teleport. You got oh, it? Oh, you almost hit me with that one. I looked down at the worst time. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck. No. What do you mean you're stuck? No way. Is there no way out? Did I find the ultimate pocket of doom? That's not a pocket. That's you found a pocket of doom that you can't get out of. Are oh, you serious? I might have. Ow. I'm glitching Mitch, my way out of this. That is too much. There we go. I just pulled off a ridiculous grappling hook. This thing is kind of fun to use. and It definitely is going to make the missions a lot more entertaining. Oh, come on. Let me out of here. Let me at him. Hmm. I think I found the next part I'm supposed to grappling hook up to. Maybe. Well, I'm stuck in a glass box of emotions. Bro, let me out. Of emotions. Oh, I had to punch it. I had to punch my way out. I broke the blocks. Oh, really? So you basically just end up glitched out. out. No! Payback! Oh, that's not Clutch fun. fishing rod. No more! Get off! No more! We're even! We're even! Yeah! God dang it! No, we're not, because you keep hooking back on! Of course, I'm a professional. Alright, where are we going? Where do we go? Where do we go from here? Yeah, I guess we gotta go around, right? This is a lot harder than I thought it would be, to be honest. Okay. From Not here. Go, I'm gonna go up one, I guess, a little bit. Just take it step by step. I think that's the yeah, hint take that it I'm easy. getting. Take it real easy. Wait, why is my pole not going up there? Why is it dropping down? Oh, I think I just pulled off a ridiculous one. That one was pretty good, yeah. Come on, let me up. Is that a good shot? I think that's a good shot. Heck yeah. What the, the heck? heck? Where did I just TP to? You stole my teleport. Did is that what happened? Because I was like, I don't even know where. I, like, it just TP'd me for no reason. All right, please be me. Yes. Okay, I'm glitching it up a solid amount right now, Mitch. I'm not even supposed to be oh, where I am. Oh no! What happened? What happened? Oh no! I fell. No, don't do that. Please. What the heck? Is that a zombie up there? This texture pack makes him look real creepy. <laughs> Uh-oh, Mitch. I got some bad news for you. I think I'm one block away oh. from getting Excalibur. You can't be serious. You can't be there. Oh, come on. I keep falling at the worst times. I'm just trying to get the right TP up, and I think that might have been the one. Yeah, Mitch. Oh, my just gosh. Give me Excalibur. Call me King Arthur. That's awesome. I even got a badge I get to put in my room, Mitch. Dang it. I keep falling. Aw. You want me to wait for you, buddy, before I store this? I get to keep Excalibur the sword, too? I guess so. I just want to get up, and I keep getting trapped in the glass box of emotions. Why does this mini game so cruel to me? I don't know, Mitch. I just don't know. But I'm glad we were able to get Excalibur for Stampy. Yeah, that's awesome. 
I wonder what our next badge is going to be. Why don't you tell me all about the next badge beforehand? Get a little cliffhanger going. Sure, buddy. So badge two is Penny Sweets badge. Find and use the hidden Pez dispenser. This will give you unlimited sweets. And that's it. So that's going to be an interesting one. We have to find it first, then we have to get to it and find out what unlimited sweets even really means. Sounds delicious to me. Sounds delightful, Mitch. I think I made it finally. That was brutal. Nice. Yeah, you're just about there. Your last jump, I think. Oh, no. Spooky zombie. I can see the, the zombie right there. Oh, I see the it's sword. So There's Excalibur right there. It's the golden sword. Yep. Boom. You got baby. it. Heck yes. We did it, but Now jump down here. You don't take fall damage. Geronimo. I lied. No, can oh, you imagine? Gosh, that would have been brutal. <laughs> can you imagine if I did that? Like, I lied. No. All right. Well, let's go put these upstairs, and I think we're ready to end uh, this this part of the... I don't even know. This is an adventure map or whatever you want to call it. Challenge minigame adventure. Ah, that's right. All right. Excalibur, Excalibur. badge. Place Wait. It in. The Inkwell badge is before it, but what's what is the, that? What's the Inkwell? Oh, I just gave the book to the statue. Whoops, I need that back. The Inkwell is number seven. That's weird. I guess they put them out of order, but... um. But yeah, that's a nice little badge for red team, and you got a nice little badge for green team down there. All right, so we are tied up one to one, Jerome, but you did beat me technically in the race, so I can't say much. You did beat me. Ah, uh, well, it was a good round, Mitch, and I had a great time with that one. You want to take this bad boy out? Yeah, I would love to. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this first of many more to come of uh, Stampy's Toy Shop Adventure Challenge. We've got to collect all these badges and all these music discs to go still and uh, learn more about uh, Tate's art and hear more from our lovely friend Stampy on uh, what to do next. So that has been it. Slap that like button and like Jerome said, definitely subscribe to our channels if you're new to see more of this adventure and we'll talk to you later. Take care.